Hi, hello, welcome to Match Point. Arch rivals India and Pakistan are all set to lock horns in the upcoming ICC T20 World Cup. The International Cricket Council on Friday announced the groups of the marquee quadrennial event and on expected terms, India and Pakistan have been placed in the same group. What else do the fans need? India and Pakistan are part of Group 2 of the Super 12 stage alongside New Zealand and Afghanistan. The winner of Group B from the qualifying round, Scotland, Bangladesh, PNG, Oman and the runners-up of Group A, Sri Lanka, Ireland, Netherlands and Namibia will join the aforementioned four teams. India and Pakistan have squared off in eight T20s in history and it is fair to say that their contest has been pretty one-sided. India has won each of their previous five T20 World Cup encounters against their arch rivals and the only game that Pakistan has managed to win in the shortest format of the game came during the 2012 bilateral series on the Indian soil. Having said that, there have been some pretty memorable T20 games between the fierce rivals over the years. Let's just go back to the history on that note. Here's a look at five iconic clashes between India and Pakistan in ICC T20 World Cup. This is a history uh, event right now happening. We're just checking upon the history between India and Pakistan on the ICC T20 World Cups where India have dominant over all the five matches against Pakistan. Let's just have a, a memory about it. 2016 T20 World Cup which took place in Eden Gardens, Kolkata. India endured a short defeat and a heavy one. 47 runs on the hands of New Zealand in their 2016 T20 World Cup campaign opener, leaving them on a knife edge as far as qualifying for the next round was concerned. Their next game was against our arch rivals Pakistan at the iconic Eden Gardens in Kolkata and another slip up could have sent their packing from their own party. On a pitch where run scoring proved to be difficult thanks to a plethora of rain leading into the encounter, Pakistan batted first and posted just 118 runs for 5 in 18 overs. Ashish Nehra and Ravindra Jadeja were the pick of the bowlers as they registered figures of 20 for 1 and 4 overs respectively. However, just like the Asia Cup encounter earlier that year, India found themselves in a lot of trouble against the Pakistani Pacers and were reduced to just 23 for 3 in just 4.4 overs. But once again, it was the man again, that genius again, Virat Kohli, who stood like a rock between India and a certain defeat. In what was a masterclass on how to bat in pressure situations, Virat Kohli smashed a match-winning 37 ball 55 and with the help of valuable contributions from Punjabi Singh, Yuvraj Singh for 24 of 23 and our captain Mahindra Singh Dhoni 13 of 9 took India past the finishing line in 15.5 overs. Needless to say, Virat won his second ICC T20 World Cup Player of the Match award against Pakistan. Now coming to the next match, 2012 T20 World Super 8 Colombo. India's net run rate had taken a severe beating following their 9 wicket mauling in the hands of Australia in the opening game of the Super 8. After having restricted the much wanted Indian batting unit to a mere 140 for 7 in 20 overs, the Australians smashed the MS Dhoni led Indian unit bowlers to all concerns and gunned down the total in just 14.5 overs. The 9 wicket shellacking in the hands of Australia was India's 7th consecutive defeat in the Super 8 stages. They had lost all 6 Super 8 games in the previous 2 World Cups of the T20 Championship. And so, leading into the must-win game against the arch rival Pakistan in Colombo, India not only had to break the Super 8 hoodoo, but also had to ensure that they kept their proud record of having not lost a game against their arch rivals in World Cups. Uh, Yuvraj lets out on a guttural roll after dismissing Kamran Akmal, and they did exactly that the much-hyped Indo-Pak fixture ended up in an anti-climax. Pakistan was never really in the game. They batted first, but thanks to brilliant bowling from the trio of Lakshmi Padhi Balaji, R. Ashwin and Yuvraj Singh, they could only manage a mere total of 128 runs in 19.4 overs. Chasing a poultry total of 129 on a flat surface was never going to be an issue for Team India, and it didn't also. Even though Pakistan dismissed their past nemesis Gautam Gambhir for a second ball tuck, Virat Kohli, who stood, scored an unbeaten 78 of 61 balls alongside with Virendra Sehwag, who scored 29 of 24, and Yuvraj Singh, 19 not out of 20, 16, guided Team India to a comfortable 8-wicket win. Kohli was eventually conferred the player of the match again, award for his brilliant 78 runs and 21 for 1 in 3 overs. We did the history of the two games, three games left. T20 World Cup 2014 Group 2 at Dhaka. This match is a memorable one for all the Indian fans out there. The build up to the 2014 T20 World Cup clash between India and Pakistan was interesting. And that's because for the first time in so many years, Pakistan had been billed as favourites by pundits and fans. And 
there were good reasons behind Pakistan getting billed as favourites as well. They had just beaten India in the 50-over Asia Cup encounter where, Sh where Shahid Afridi famously hit a six of Ravichandran Ashwin in the final to seal the deal. Moreover, India's form leading into the T20 World Cup was extremely poor as well. They had failed to win a single game, albeit in RDIs during their winter tours of S South Africa and New Zealand, besides failing to qualify for the finals of the Asia Cup. The pressure was on the men in blue to not only shrug off their poor form but also maintain their proud records in World Cups against Pakistan. As for Pakistan, they had to ensure that they don't get overwhelmed by the favourites tag. Unfortunately for Pakistan again, that is exactly what happened. Their team once again wilted under pressure against India and as a result, they were handed a 7 wicket defeat. Just like the 2012 game between these two sides, Pakistan batted first and once again, they failed to drive home the advantage. Thanks to some brilliant spin bowling by Amit Mishra who, who just gave away 22 runs and took 2 wickets in 4 overs and Ravindra Jadeja who just gave away 18 runs and took 1 wicket in 4 overs. None of the Pakistan Pakistan batters could take the game by the scruff of its neck and it was only due to some late lusty blows by Shoaib Maksud who scored 21 of 11 and that they managed to post 130 for 7 in 20 overs. Virat Kohli and Suresh Raina celebrate take away India to victory clashing 131, Shikhar Dhawan 30 of 28 and Rohit Sharma 24 of 21 gave India a steady start courtesy to a 54 run stand in 80 overs. A fluffy of wickets in the form of both openers and Yuvraj Singh within a space of the next 2.1 overs gave Pakistan some hope but the duo of Virat Kohli 36 not out and Suresh Raina who smashed an unbeaten 28 ball 35 guided India to their fourth consecutive win over their arch rivals in T20 World Cups. T20 World Cup 2007 Group Stage Match Durban India and Pakistan locked the horns for the first time, first ever time in T20s in the group stage of the inaugural T20 World Cup and it proved to be a game for the ages. You know why, bowl out. Batting first, India endured a horrendous start as Mohammad Asif knocked over their top order to reduce them to 4 for 36 in the 7th over. However, a counter-attack 39 ball 50 from Robin Utapa and valuable contributions from MS Dhoni, Irfan Patan and Ajita Karkar ensured that India posted a defendable total of 141 for 9. Chasing 142, Pakistan also suffered a poor start as they were reduced to 47 for 4 in the ninth over. By the time Shoaib Malik 20 of 18 and Shahid Afridi the 7 of Lion looked all doom and gloom for Pakistan as they still require a further 39 runs in just 14 balls. However, Ms. Baulak 53 of 35 had other ideas as he unleashed one hell of a counter attack to breathe life into the contest. With 12 needed of the last 6 balls, Ms. Ba smashed Sri Shant for a couple of fours and squeezed in a couple, leaving Pakistan just one run away from a famous win. For, from three deliveries. However, the pressure eventually got to Misbah as he plays consecutive dart balls before getting run out on the final delivery to ensure a famous tie. How can Indian fans forget that wicket? The tiebreaker was decided by the bowl out, which India won 3 0 as the likes of Sevag, Harbhajan, and Utapa hit the bullseye as opposed to Gul, Arafat, and Afridi. And now coming back to that final game which Indians all remember forever. 2007 T20 World Cup final which took place in Johannesburg. Given the manner in which both India and Pakistan had played throughout that World Cup, it was only fitting that both of them made into the summit clash of the inaugural T20 World Cup. And it proved to be a game for the ages as Misbah once again flattered at the final hurdle. Just like the group stage encounter, India once again batted first and on the back of a brilliant 54 balls, 75 from Gautam Kapir and a handy 16 ball 30 by Rohit Sharma posted 157 for 5 in 20 overs. And in a similar pattern to the group stage encounter, Pakistan, despite a worldwide knock from Imran Nasir, 33 of 14 balls, always looked behind the 8 ball as RP Singh, who took 3 wickets, giving away just 26 runs in 4 overs, and Irfan Patan, who took 3 wickets, just conceding 16 runs in 4 overs, ransacked their top and middle order, leaving them reeling at 77 for 6 after 11.4 overs. However, just when it looked like Pakistan was down and down, Ms. Bahulak once again proved to be a throne in India's flesh. Ms. Bah launched a stunning counter-attack on the Indian bowlers, especially Harbhajan Singh. And while the Indians kept chipping in with wickets at the other end, the equation eventually boiled down to 13 runs of the last six balls. Dhoni had the option of giving the final over to the experienced Harbhajan Singh, but instead he took a punt on Joginder Sharma. It looked like Dhoni had made a blunder when Sharma bowled a wide before conceding a six in the first two deliveries. And with just six runs to get up four balls and just one wicket left, Ms. Bah went for the scoop shot and it eventually proved to be his 
his undoing as Srishant held on to the catch at short fine leg to help India lift the inaugural T20 World Cup title in the air and Srishant takes it. That was the commentary box at that time as well. Now Indians are never going to forget that and this time around World Cup T20 as India and Pakistan are on the same group, the arch rivals are yet to lock horns again.